Howdy! In this lesson, we're going to be expanding our elliptic lift distribution to a general lift distribution over our finite wing. So to start off, let's just review what we were talking about with the uh, elliptic lift distribution. So this is just saying that our gamma is going to be a function of y, which is gamma naught times the square root of 1 minus 2y over b squared. And once we had this, we used a substitution of terms and said that y is equal to negative b over 2 times cosine of theta. And plugging all that in, we arrived at gamma of theta being equal to gamma naught times sine of theta. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to use this equation as a framework uh, to expand to a general lift distribution. And what I mean by that is we want to add similar terms to this sine theta term. So we're going to say that our gamma of theta is going to be a sum from n is equal to 1 to capital N of some constant a n times a sine term, but not of theta, of n theta. So this is just a uh, finite Fourier series. And in order to get our units correct, we're going to set, or we're going to multiply all of this by 2b times v infinity. Now, if you remember, we need to plug this into our uh, fundamental equation for finite wings. And if we rewrite that, uh, we say that gamma of y naught over pi times v infinity times c of y naught is going to be equal to alpha of y naught minus alpha where lift is equal to zero of y naught minus one over four pi times v infinity times the integral from negative b over 2 to b over 2 of d gamma dy times dy all over y naught minus y. Alright, so we obviously need to find the, uh, different, the derivative of gamma and, in terms of y. So using the chain rule this is simply equal to d gamma d theta times d theta dy. So we can say in simple terms that this is 2 times b times v infinity, which are all our constants, times a d theta times dy times the sum from n is equal to 1 to n of, and, and we're deriving only the sine term because this is the only function of theta. So this becomes an n times a n times cosine of n theta. All right, so now that we have this, we can go ahead and plug this into our fundamental equation. So first off, um, we're going to be, instead of y naught, we're going to be using theta naught for all these functions simply because um, for every y naught, there is a theta naught, so it doesn't actually change the math at all. So we can say that gamma of theta naught is going to be equal to 2 times b times v infinity times this sum and we're dividing, just left over from the equation, we're dividing by pi times v infinity times c of theta naught. And this is going to be equal to alpha of theta naught minus alpha where lift is equal to zero of theta naught. And then we're subtracting off a 2 times b times v infinity all over a 4 pi times v infinity. And we need to convert these y, this y naught and this y to cosine, cosine theta and uh, cosine of theta naught. So whenever we do that, a, a negative b over 2 comes out. So we can also write a, uh, and since this is in the denominator, this is a 2 over b. And we're integrating from 0 to pi. And we'll take this sum. So this is going to be a sum from n is equal to 1 to n of 
this stuff. So this is going to be uh, n times a n times cosine of n of theta. And we take this d theta dy and multiply it by dy, and we end up with just a d theta term. Then all of this is going to be equal to cosine of theta minus cosine of theta naught. And I switched the order here because of the negative in our transformation. So I didn't bring it out here, I just used it to switch the order. So what we can do now is we can actually take this term and integrate it for any given value of n. So this entire term becomes a sum from n is equal to 1 to capital N of n a n times pi times sine of n theta naught over sine of theta naught. And this is that same integral that we've been using um, for a number of other uh, situations. So for the thin airfoil theory, we use this same integral. Alright, so now we just, we have our equation, we have everything plugged in, but we need to simplify all this down into something that we can use. So, this is going to be a 2b over pi c of theta naught, and the v infinities obviously cancel out. And we'll have a sum from n is equal to 1 to capital N of a n times sine of n theta naught. Now what I'm going to do now is go ahead and move um, all of this over to the left hand side. So this is going to be a plus. Um, these 2's cancel out with this 4. This b and this b cancel out and the v infinities cancel out. And then finally the pi here will cancel out with this pi here. And so we're going to end up with just the sum from n is equal to 1 to capital N of n times a n times sine of n theta naught over sine of theta naught. And all of that is going to be equal to alpha of theta naught minus alpha where lift is equal to 0 of theta naught. Alright, so this equation holds true for every value of theta naught. It's true over the entire airfoil. Uh, in practice, what we end up doing is we choose n values of theta naught to actually enforce this. Uh, if we have some uh, distribution of either the chord or of the alpha that we're trying to fit our lift distribution to. Uh, so the, the typical situation is that we have some twist or we have some uh, chordwise variation or uh, spanwise variation of the chord um, and we're trying to fit our gamma, our lift distribution to that wing. And so what we do is that we uh, have our, in this case we're going to have some uh, value of C and we're going to say that, well here's our v infinity, this is our y direction, this is our x direction. We're going to take some values of theta naught, so this is theta naught is equal to um, pi over 2, and then maybe a couple of others. And then from these n theta naught points, we're going to come up with a capital N number of equations and we'll have capital N unknowns. So we'll have N equations with N unknowns which are our A of N. And then we'll have a, a system of equations uh, that we can solve. 